Welcome back to the series on uh, paint.net. Um, what we're going to discuss now is the actual program interface. If you'll notice, uh, this screen that we're seeing right here, this uh, user interface, is the user, user interface to paint.net. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, many of the items are grayed out. Uh, the reason that they are grayed out is we don't have an image open where they can operate on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open an image. The image dialog comes up more on this later, but we're going to open an image, and now everything is active. Uh, if you'll notice at the top, we have a title bar. Uh, the first thing that appears in the title bar is the name of the di or the name of the uh, current document uh, that we have open and that we're working with, and also the percentage of uh, that document that is being displayed and also the name of the program which is paint.net naturally that will never change and also the version number uh, what we have below that is we have a menu bar and the menu bar is um, a typical Microsoft pull down that basically uh, shows the operation and so on and so forth uh, the various uh, the various operating points of the program and here we have a, a menu bar, I mean a uh, icon bar, a toolbar that is that is basically an abbreviation of many of the commands that appear in the menu. Uh, what we have here is we have a toolbar, a tool. This this toolbar is uh, basically controls uh, the parameters or any of the uh, information required to select a tool. Here we have the tools window. In the tools window, we can select a tool, like in this, in like let's select the paintbrush. And if you'll notice, uh, these commands now change to uh, reveal the um, uh, the things that we can change the characteristics of the tool, uh, the paint or the paintbrush tool. Uh, so basically, if we change tools, and this tool, or this pull down right here, allows us to change to any tool. We can, uh, like, let's select the uh, clone stamp. Now, what we're going to have is we're going to have a different set of parameters that I, or that uh, work on that tool. So this is the tool menu. Now, if you'll notice, when we go over these menus, they become partially uh, transparent when we leave them. That is a dynamic feature. So basically, you can see still where you're working at on the image. When you come back over the uh, window it turns into opaque. Now continuing on this um, on this icon bar we have one here we have a pull down that allows us to control the size of our image. So if we let's uh, let's say select 12 percent the image becomes 12 percent of its uh, you know of the full size. If we select 100 or 200 percent it becomes 200 percent of its size um, or we can select window to um, you know, contain the window. The window will go to the maximum size that will fit in the window. Over here, what we have is we have an image list, or we have a, a, a list of the items that are open. So if we open another uh, image, like let's say we'll open cart, what we'll have now is we have two icons. By clicking on one of these icons, uh, we can change the image that we're working with. And when we pull that image up, uh, everything applies to that image. Um, so now everything would apply to this image. So any adjustments or whatever that we make would apply to this image. Uh, now we're going back to the church and any adjustments would apply to the church. Up here we have a X when we go over the uh, image uh, basically allows us to close that image. Uh, here we have our color selection dialog where we can select our um, four color and our back color. Uh, this more I, or this more uh, button allows us to uh, give further details in the uh, color selection. There's actually more options in the color selection dialog. Here we have our layers dialog, and you don't have to understand these right now. Uh, we'll go back over them in more detail. Uh, and here we have our history. Uh, one more thing that we have here is we have a status bar at the bottom that, number one, shows the tool that we're currently working with. 
uh, if you'll see it here, uh, the tool that we're currently working with. And also, this is the actual image size, and here is our position on the image. Uh, a few more things that are applicable up here. Here we can initiate a uh, grid, and that grid is only displayed when you are at a magnification rate of two times or greater. So if the uh, image being displayed is 100% or less, you know, 50%, 75%, or 100%, the grid will not be displayed. But if it's larger than 200%, the grid will, grid will be displayed. Here we can display a ruler, and that ruler will be displayed in our unit of measurement. So here we have pixels selected, but what we can do is we can go to inches, and now it's displayed in inches, or we can go into or centimeters. Uh, that basically wraps it up for the user interface and this video. In the next video, we will go into some of the operations on the image that we can actually uh, perform. Uh, thank you for watching.